As the world's group stages wrap up, there's been a few champions that have shown to be incredibly powerful at the competitive level right now. As we go through my choices for the champions that have shown to be overpowered at Worlds thus far, keep in mind that I'm only taking into account champions that have been played a reasonable amount, so if they weren't picked often or are banned heavily, those champions did not make the cut, and as usual, there's going to be one champion for each role. Note of course that there are other champions that are really strong, it's just that these five were my pick of champions that seem to be quite powerful and have huge impacts on the games thus far, as well as relatively strong win rates, being played fairly often, and showing immense versatility. Starting with the top lane, we have Rumble. Rumble has shown to be a team fight menace, as well as having a strong laning phase with high tankiness and damage. While lacking bad matchups, unlike other melee top laners, while still outputting AP damage which is really good for building team comps. Throughout all of this, Rumble has actually played a huge role in a lot of the major upsets that have occurred thus far in the tournament. A significant portion of upset wins were done with Rumble, who played a massive role in those games. His ability to control teamfights through zoning, damage, and tankiness makes him an incredibly versatile and powerful champion at the competitive level, and when you're playing with the best in the world, versatility in kits has shown to be truly key, and Rumble definitely has that. For mid lane, it's Zed. When played by someone who is mechanically skilled, which let's be honest, at Worlds is everyone, Zed has shown to be an amazing assassin, as he's one of the only assassins in the game who actually has a reliable escape that lacks counterplay. Many assassins like Akali or Talon can jump in and burst a target, but they may have a tough time getting out due to counterplay and their escapes, whereas Zed can simply just jump back to his shadow. Not to mention that he has poke while also being a great split pusher all while having solid team fight. so his overall kit allows you to create a dynamic playstyle that can be tailored to team comps and opponents, making him a great mid lane choice. For jungle, it's Lee Sin. Lee Sin is the most popular champion that has a solid win rate, and it's no surprise considering the overall utility and power of his kit, allowing you to pressure early, gank lanes, and teamfight with insect plays. It's no secret that Lee Sin is unmatched early game, but these players are so good at Lee Sin that they don't fall off late game, as they transition to a tanky utility carry by making insect plays in teamfights, or by just peeling and crowd controlling for their team, while tanking and still dealing out some decent damage. Lee Sin has been, for quite a long time, the most versatile jungler in the game, and his strong early game gives him a significant advantage that teams can use to make plays as well. For AD carry, it's Lucian. Lucian is a lane dominant AD carry, and so it allows him to gain an advantage and pressure early, leading to some great dragon plays, while transitioning well with a scaling build, ensuring that, unlike most AD carries, that he's strong throughout all phases of the game, with a dominant early game, pretty solid mid game, and a solid late game. Other AD carries fail in at least one of those three phases of the game, and teams often play to capitalize on those weaknesses of the AD carry, and so since Lucian does not have that sort of weakness inherently in his kit, while also being mobile having high damage and of course great wave clear, it's going to make him the most versatile AD carry as shown in the tournament thus far. For support, Thresh has shown to be an incredibly powerful champion. When you have support players who are the best in the world, Thresh's playmaking ability and overall utility can just shine through an incredible amount. Although he may not be the best in solo queue due to being a difficult mechanical champion, there's no doubt that Thresh in himself is an incredibly powerful champion, as well as the amount of players who have shown to be incredibly skilled on him, with amazing flays and mad life hooks, allowing Thresh's kit to truly shine as a whole, and due to his overall utility, he's been able to excel in almost any composition thus far. My name is Jeremy, and that's it for my video on the OP champs at Worlds. Be sure to check me out over at twitch.tv slash jeremy underscore gaming curios. And of course, be sure to stay connected at facebook.com slash gaming curios. Drop a like, share this video, and make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.